gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray according to our language or custom. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil.
you just heard why, you'll, why you will want to come back on December 16th when our joint choir will present a cantata. And it will be the entire service at 10 o'clock will be an entire musical service uh, featuring the joint choir. So please put that on your calendar and join us for that grand day. Uh, would you pray with me this morning? Lord God Almighty, we do come to you who are holy to bring our praise and our gratitude this week. We thank you, Lord, that you have called us here as brothers and sisters in Christ, that there is indeed one Lord, one faith, one baptism. We thank you that we can join together to declare your praise and to declare that you have blessed us in so many ways. We pray for our sister church, Good Shepherd, and we thank you, Lord, that you are walking with them through this valley, that you are with them this time of transition. And we pray that you would keep their spirits lifted. And we thank you, Lord, that we are able to host this dear church. We thank you, Lord, for the Indian Telugu Church and their long tenure here with us at First Baptist. We pray that you would indeed bless them, and we know that Several of their families have moved to another state, but Lord, we just bless uh, those who remain that you would keep them faithful and that you would restore their strength. And Lord, I pray and lift to you this day, First Baptist, as we continue our search for a new pastor. Lord, I would just pray that you too would keep our hearts lifted and know that you have a plan and a purpose for every single person, every single church that has gathered here this day. Lord, may we truly focus on the gratitude that we have for your sacrifice on the cross. To pause and remember that you so loved the world that you gave your only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth should not perish but have everlasting life. And so we give you great and glorious thanksgiving that we come into your house with the knowledge of your love and your salvation. We thank you for it this day. Amen. Candy, Candy yeah. Sweet tarts, that's right. And what are, what are sweet tarts famous for? Well, for their brand, yeah. But they're, they're both sweet and tart. What does that mean? What, what does sweet mean? That they're nice, yeah, sweet. They're sugary and they they taste sweet. Let's see if we can get them open here. Jose, would you come here and help me a minute? Here, hold that for me. What does the tart mean? What's tart mean? Like they kind of how should I say this? Compliment a little? Okay, so sweet and tart they're supposed to complement each other, but tart means it's kind of um, I should have looked this up myself, shouldn't I have? Tart means it's kind of sour, right? That it's like the opposite of sweet, and so it's sweet tart. So sometimes when you have one, it might taste sweet, and sometimes it might taste sour. Is that right? Have you ever had one? No, you want one. <laughs> well, maybe I want to keep them. No. Everybody can, here, take a couple and pass them along, all right? Sweet and tart. I want to share something with you. Two. Take two right now so we have enough. Oh, now we're coming up. Do you see that? <laughs> Adults, stay in your seat. Take, there's someone behind you there. Make sure he gets one. There's a verse in the Bible. It's in Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians 5.18 that says, give thanks in all circumstances. The candy's going to get to you. Look at me. The candy's going to get to you. I, 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 I promise, okay? Give thanks. It, somebody help him, okay? Okay. Listen to this verse. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God for you. What's coming up? What holiday? Thanksgiving. What do we do on Thanksgiving? We 
we thank and we give God, uh, we thank God for our blessings. Yes, and we eat. Thank you, Danny. But really, the holiday is to give God thanks. And that scripture says, give thanks in all circumstances. What that means is to give God thanks when good things happen. Did you want to say what it means? Go ahead. Not so good things happen. Yeah, when good things happen and not so good things happen. Sweet and tart. So the reason I gave you sweet tarts is to remember that even when good things happen or bad things happen, we are to give thanks for all of it because it's the will of God for us. So sometimes bad things happen to us, right? Sometimes we... Um, maybe get a bad grade at school, or sometimes we fall and hurt ourselves. Anybody ever broke any bones? No, you have? That doesn't, it's not pleasant, is it? But even when bad things happen, the Bible tells us that that's the will of God. Oh, we got plenty more. We're going to pass for two more. We're going to ruin our lunch. Even when bad things happen, we're still supposed to give thanks. So here's what I want us to do. Everybody stand up. Everybody stand up, face out that way. And we're going to say these two words. We're going to say, give thanks. Okay? And they're going to respond and say, give thanks to us. Okay? We're going to see if they're louder than we are. Ready? So give thanks. Everybody got it? One, two, three. Give thanks! Very nice. Thank you very much. Let's have a prayer, and we'll continue to get our other two things. But let's pray. Everybody close your eyes if you don't have the candy box, all right? Let's pray. Lord God, we do give thanks to you for the sweet things in life and for those that are more tart. Because we realize that this is your will, that you have a plan and a purpose for every one of us, whether we're two or 102 whether it has to do with our personal lives or our uh, churches. You want us to give thanks in all things. We thank you, Lord, for these children who've gathered here today. And we pray, Lord, that you would bless each one of them.